Good morning guys and gals, um, we've got a review here of 55001 St Paddy, um, I've reviewed the other two um, off the track, um, but this this one is lucky enough to grace the track. Um, so as you can see in this, in this shot, um, we've got the lights on at the front, as you can see on the domino panel, it's very see-through. Um, after doing a review of this model, did I review? No, I didn't. Sorry, I'm getting mixed up. So I've already done a running video of this, going backs and forwards with the sounds, blah blah blah, and I'll just put in the description about the head code. And I've had a, a few people respond back, which is really nice, um, saying that it has an inlay. Okay, so that is very true. That obviously comes with bits and bobs to fit in here. Uh, and I've had a look. Just what's really nice with Curious Scale, they've given you a option to go on the website and how to do this, how to do that. And there is a, a tab on there how to change the head code. It does mean removing the body, which is a bit annoying because this model, all the chains are secure. But they'll take the bloody chains off, which I'm not impressed with, to be honest. Um, because they're a nightmare to glue back on but it is what it is um so i might might just leave it as it is for now to be honest it doesn't bother me too much and it's only going to be in storage um so maybe later on down the line i'll get that done um yeah so you just uh take the body off you pick this out apparently pick it out and then you put the the inlay in and just a bit of pva on the back just to hold it in Anyway, here's the paddy, St. Paddy, 55001. Um, this and 55020 were the first to retire. Um, since doing another review, um, St. Paddy was refurbed in 79, so the windows were plated over and the domino was plated over as well. Um, but it just resided at... Well, I can't remember now, Doncaster, I think. Uh, where, wherever it was, it, it resided in the sidings with 55020 not being used. Um, someone else has also made a comment about getting the book, which I really should do as well. Okay, so some other so some other bits and bobs. Cab light is on. Um, yeah, I just love that the dials light up. That's absolutely amazing. Really gone to town with detail on these. So we'll start her up. Let's have a little listen to her. It's a beautiful sound like a bit of anyway. Really, really captured the sound. Um, I noticed some people moaning about the vibration. I can hear a bit of cracking because the, the, the sound is really loud for this one. Uh, uh, really captured the Deltic horn there, in my opinion. So we'll just turn it the other way. So obviously the light goes out, the tower lights come on, and the tablet goes to the other end. Do you really need to get that body off and do the head codes at some point, but um, I'll tackle that when we get round to it. It'll be the same with all the Scots Grey, so we've got to do both of them. That's why I preferred the plated over, but there we are. Um, you see what I mean by the vibration? I don't know if you picked that up in the video, but when it pulled away, it made a like a a rubber noise twice, where the speaker's obviously vibrating on the circuit board. It's, it's a bit annoying, but I haven't noticed it on the other two models, so that's why I didn't even think about it. Let's just see if it does it again. Thank 
see if you can hear it this time. It's a little bit annoying because obviously they released this model as a Domino headcode vehicle. Why they didn't fit the infill for, for you is beyond me. And looking at it now through the cab, mate, this is, you're going to see the same image I'm seeing now. And I just think it, it doesn't look very good. But I've seen other people's on YouTube and there's exactly the same. So. Amazing, and that uh, just the detail on it is absolutely incredible. I see Dean Park has done a review now of his, uh, three of which I've got <laughs> 55002, 55005, and 55022. Overall. This thing is an amazing model. Just notice one of the horns is bent. It's right. It's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, here's the review of 55001. I've reviewed all of my Deltics apart from Royal Scots Grey because that's analog. So I'm just waiting for a sound decoder to turn up for that, and then we'll be good to go. And here she is. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, there will be another review after this one but it's something different. Stay tuned and I'll catch up with you all soon. Thanks for all the views recently. Um, obviously this model is very popular at the moment, um, but I think the hype has died off for, the, for a little while. Uh, I think it sort of went mad in the first few days, um, but it's sort of the novelty's wearing off now. But these models are still great. They're set the bar high. Um, the, the next thing they release is the 37s and I think they're going to be just as amazing. I've got 37 402 on pre-order and I've also pre-ordered the Mark IIs, six of them in Inter City to run with uh, the, these Deltics. They're Mark II Bs. They did run with Deltics I believe so should be pretty typical but it's hard to get any BR Blue Mark II stock at the moment so just uh, I pre-ordered them in plenty of time. So anyway thanks for tuning in and uh, Keep your eyes peeled for the next review.